Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for coming to the channel. I wanted to talk about um, the look that I have on today. I don't know if the actual video is going to load up in order for me to show you how I did it. But um, with that being said, I will talk to you guys about what I used and if it did upload, then you will have two videos to watch on how I came up with this look. So I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit so that you can see um, that it is a pink color shadow and what I used is this London Revolution Revolution Makeup um, Makeup Revolution London Pro HD Amplify 35 tab tablet, palettes. Um, they they claim to say is 35 high payoff talc free eyeshadow. Um, the reason why I say payoff that way is because the payoff is not that great. I'm just gonna the payoff is great for the darker colors. The the darker the purples and the darker colors, the payoff it's okay. Like I would use that consistently. But for the brighter colors, and the pink especially, <sighs> that pink was not a <sighs> good one. It was like <sighs> bad one. So this is what the palette, the outside looks like. It's very plasticky, very nice. It's nice and sleek. Um, it's easy to clean up and it's nice. That's what I can say about it. My favorite, favorite two things that I like about the palette is one that it does have names for the shadow, so I will let you know which ones I used on my eye. And then it has an amazing, um, an amazing, amazing, amazing mirror. An amazing mirror. An amazing mirror. This mirror, I will buy this palette again just for. This, like I would dig these out and put my own in there just to use this mirror. Like, or I'll just like cover that up and use the mirror. Like that's how good this mirror is. This mirror is perfect. I absolutely love it. It's nice, wide, and just wide. You can see everything. You don't have to get too close. I mean, if you want to, you can, but it's perfect. I like it. You can hold it like this. It's not too heavy, or you can have it sitting down like that, like showing in front of you. It's perfect. It's this The palette is lightweight. Yeah, sometimes this one might just fall on you. It's, I mean, it's sturdy enough, but um, just be careful with that. But it's not heavy. It's not heavy. It's actually pretty steady. And I got this palette from Marshalls. I got it for five fifty. Um, original price was six ninety nine. I mean, six ninety nine. It was. Oh my God! Why does it keep on doing that? I just don't understand. I've been trying to upload the same video for the longest. That's why I don't like recording on my phone. That's one reason why I don't like it. And for some reason, it won't transfer from my phone to my computer so I can upload it that way. <laughs> but anyways, if it does upload, I will do it. If not, then you have this. So anyways, I just want to say thank you for all the new subscribers. I am blown away that I received, um, I'm at 269. I was at 105 and I'm at 269. Thank you very much. 268 or 269, somewhere around there. It keeps on fluctuating. It will go like to 285 and then go down to 270 then go down to 265 and then go back up to 295 it's like I keep on fluctuating but i'm very very appreciative so let's get into what i used i'm going to come a little bit closer so the colors that i used are the ugh, what colors I, used? I remember the name of them i used let me just make sure I used only five out of all of these. I did swatch them. Um, it will be on another channel. So if you guys want to see the swatches, I will link that one with this if things work out. And then if that gets uploaded, I will also link that one to this one. So if it works out. If not, then it'll just be this one. Um, so I used five. I used Keeper. Um, I need... Uh, where's the box? I need something to cover top oh there goes the box 
because I don't the I have my ring light and stuff it gets too bright in here it will get too bright on that so I used this is keeper I used that one I use, of course, the pink one. You guys can't, that's, you can see the pink right there. That's the pink one, it's called Innocent. I used Ironic, right here is another purple one. I used Please You, one, two, three, four. Actually, for this look, I used only four. No, no, I take that back, and I put some little bit of Thriller. I mean, uh, Thrill, not Thriller. So I used only those five colors out of 35, so I didn't use none of the other ones. I did swatch them. I don't like none of the light colors. They are too, too, <clears throat> what is it called? They are too, um, not muddy. It's the opposite of muddy. It's, it's just too flaky and just too, it's not consistent. It's not smooth. It feels really smooth when you first, um, like I will swatch one of each row for you so you guys could see. Lord, I have like colors everywhere on me. All right, so I'm gonna swatch one of each area. And it's just like, when you move this, it's just makeup gets all over it and it's, uh. But anyways, I'm gonna swatch one of the top ones. This is called Reason. Look how just splotchy that is. It's very splotchy. It'll be okay for like a transitional shade. But other than that, I wouldn't use it. The second one I want to use is Modest. No, actually, I'll, I'll go with the pink one that I used. So that's the pink one. Let's see if I can get close. See how just chalky it is? Uh, and then I want to go with the purple one I used today, which is, um, what is it called again? Unseen, right? No, Keeper. I'm going to go with Keeper. Like, I got, like, colors everywhere on me. This is Keeper. It's one of the first purple ones I used. The purple ones are pretty okay. The second one I used is... I just... Oh my god. It's really driving me the effing crazy. It gets so close to upload and then all of a sudden it goes back to zero. Now it says waiting. It's still at upload 8%. <sighs> Next one I used was a Keeper Unseen, one of the brown ones. You can't even see it on my hand. This is the brown one right there. You can't even see it. Great, perfect. Let me do the Ironic, which is the purple one, which is right here. That's the purple one, which is better. I like the purple ones. Um, and I used... Oh, my hands so dirty. I'm gonna use my pinky and I used Please You. That right there. I'm not a person that does swatches good. But unless it's, they're not that great. I'll tell you the truth, it's not that great. It's not that great at all. Uh, I wouldn't, knowing this, if I knew this already, I would have not bought the palette. I mean, yes, I do like the mirror a lot. I do like the purples a lot, but I have other palettes that do such a better job than this. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't buy it for that. I definitely wouldn't. I'm just going to use my makeup wipe spray. It looks like I've been beaten. Oh, I need to wash my hands. I hate having dirty hands. Oh, just driving me crazy. Um, but, yeah, on that, I wouldn't use them. They don't really stain your eyelids, I, cause I did, this is my second time using the palette. Um, it's okay, but at the same time, it's not okay. It's okay for the price. Like, it's $5.50. I mean, I don't expect miracles off of $5.50, but I do expect it to work off of $5.50. Um, it was $6.99 originally, and I do have all the palettes from their company, and I love... The Revolution Company. I love, love. I have a lot of products from them and from NYX. I'm not disliking the, the company because of that. That's probably just old or it's just a bad batch. But I do have, you know, I have this one right here, which is really nice. 
Um, most of them you're going to see like the same color stories. I have this one right here. I use a lot as well. These two are like the same. It's just one is all shimmer. The other one has shimmer and matte, but their colors are basically the same. I didn't mean to buy almost the same. Uh, this one is another one I got. Um, they're mostly shimmers and anything else. This one is like almost in the same category as that. It seems like when they come out with this kind, their quality is not that great. So I don't know, is it cheaper? Is it more, is this, the casing more expensive than this casing? And so is it the products become worse? I don't know. Couldn't tell you that, but other than that, I do have their, I'm pretty sure I have more. I have like bronzers and all that kind of stuff from them. I just don't feel like looking for it, but these are the four palettes. I think I might have one or two more palettes up there somewhere in my makeup stash. I'm not willing to go through that right now just to show you, but I will show you another time that all of them I have. But um, I do love, love their products. I mean, they have really good products. I have not tried the foundation yet, but I will try the foundation. If you are interested in seeing a full face using only uh, Revolution London makeup, make sure you give it a thumbs up or leave it down, down in the description below because I think I do want to try that. I think I want to try their concealer or foundation. Um, I don't know if they have a powder or not. I know they have stuff for bronzing. I know that, but I don't know if they have anything else. I have to go to Ulta to see. And like I said, everything will be linked in the bottom description below and you'll be able to find what you're looking for and how much your, whatever it is that you're looking for, how much it costs. And um, yeah, but everything I have used is all under $20. The one that costs exactly $20 is the Juvia's Place foundation that I use because I do have my foundation and concealer. I don't remember if I talked about it, but it's the Juvia's Place. If, and um my eyes is, my eyebrows is Anastasia Beverly Hills. My eye shadow, my mascara is Maybelline. My face powder is Maybelline. And I use Aerospun every single time. The primer is e.l.f. primer, the hydrating primer. A spray is two different types of sprays. And one of them is from TJ Maxx. I'm almost out. I need to go get some more. The coconut and Rose. Uh, setting spray and then the second one is my Morphe. I fell on the floor and feel like going to get it. Um, my Morphe one and I got that for like 50% off at Ulta. Um, 50, no, 25, 35. So it was on, it's on sale. So I got it. Um, yeah. So other than that, that is the video. So make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, sharing. We are at 269 or 268 subscribers as of like 20 minutes ago when I checked. So we are trying to get to 300. My goal for before the year is out, my goal was to get to 200 subscribers. So we already achieved 200 subscribers. Now we need to achieve 300 subscribers. So we can do, I know we can. If we can get 100 some subscribers within less than a week, I know we can get up to 300 subscribers the next three weeks so we are at 269 we can definitely do it that's what 31 32 subscribers we can definitely get 31 to 32 subscribers i really would appreciate it and i think yeah that's about it um thank you for watching if you like this look make sure you give it a thumbs up it's a little more vivid on the video so if the video does link i will link it with this i mean if it uploads i will link it with this video so as me swatching, I like everything over here <laughs> swatched for that one. If you want to see that swatch and how that applies on your skin. No, you can't really judge the makeup by a swatch. <laughs> like, you know, judge the book by its cover. But at the same time, it can kind of give you an idea of how it feels and how it applies onto your hand. Um, and you'll be able to see it. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share. The subscribe button is in below. Let's get up to 300 by December 31st. And next year, we'll try to get up to 1,000. We can do it. 
together. Yes, because we need to grow this channel together. Okay. Anyways, thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a good Christmas.